Okay, yes. Okay, go ahead and say your name. And my, name is, my name is Martin Putnam. I work for Kansas City Power and Light. I'm the manager of field operations. Right now I'm in charge of the Google project. Uh, Google's attaching to all the poles in Kansas City proper. Okay, and talk about what your crews do out here to set up the grounds for the rodeo and when you start doing that. I'm on the board of directors mm -hmm. for the International Lineman's Rodeo and I have a team of, a great team of people that help me out. I'm kind of the uh, puppet master and they are my marionettes. Uh, we spend probably, probably six weeks getting ready for this. Uh, the week before the rodeo is when we do most of the work. I've got people coming in from Alaska, uh, Portland, Oregon, a lot of good help. Uh, the guys are on the board of directors, the master judges, chief judges, and they help us put this whole thing together, hang the flags, hang the banners, get all the equipment out of the bunkers, lined out for each event, you know, all the rubber goods that we need for this event, all the hoists, all the ropes that we need for that event, stuff like that. And I couldn't do this. There's no way we could do this without the guys' help. This is not me by any stretch of the imagination. It is all them. Okay, and what about the apprentices? Do they help set the poles then for the event? Do you use that as a training exercise yes, for them? Yes, uh, every year. Uh, it's usually about June, July. Uh, we talk to Westar. Westar is a great help. They're also a co-sponsor of this. Can't see Power Light. It's a lot, of, a lot of money and effort in this, and so does Westar. They do a great job. Southwest Apprenticeship, they do a great job with us helping. Uh, they'll come out in June. Westar will. They'll come out here for uh, four 10-hour days, and we'll uh, inventory to see how many of the 148 poles need to be replaced. Uh, if they're climbed and got a lot of gaff marks in them, we'll change them out. But if they're barely climbed, like the apprentice event last year, where the apprentices couldn't get past the rope throw, uh, then we won't change them out. We'll use them again this year. Okay, excellent. And it, talk about the judges. How many master and chief judges do you have, and how do you select them? Okay, how do you select the judges? The, 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 the judges, you move up the ranks in the International Lineman's Rodeo Association. You start out just judging, and they see you have a, you know, a good knowledge. You're, you're, you're helping out a lot. You're dependable. Then you'll get to move up the ranks to chief judge and then the master judge. And that's, that's how you promote it in the, in the organization. Okay. Thank you very much, Martin. appreciate your help. You are very much welcome.